everyone, this is Susie with Design Paper Crafting Designs by Suzanne B. Webb. Um, I'm here to show you this journal that I called Autumn Abundance. It's not an autumn journal, it's just because the cover to me looks a little bit autumnish with the um, colors and everything. It is a five signature journal and it measures five inches by eight inches and is two and three quarter inches thick. It's bound together with this pretty ribbon that's bicolored and has four metal corner um, corners. Let's see, and it, it's absolutely loaded with surprises and goodies, so it's packed. It's covered with cloth. Um, let's see, this is the front cover with just a little old pull-out sheet of an old advertisement for journaling on the back. See, most of my papers have been tea dyed or coffee dyed. And then most of my image I have fussy cut. And some are from vintage magazines. This page has a little coin envelope with a little tag inside. I'll go back and put everything together. And then some fabric tape. And then this little pretty red butterfly with some feathers. This page has a double policy envelope. with a pocket and pull out journaling spot. I'll just keep that out, I'll come back through. This page has a side pocket with a double-sided journaling spot there. This is another pocket. with a fold-up journaling spot, plain page for journaling, another pocket with a garden fairy, and pull-out journaling spot. It's a little flip-out for journaling. Some pretty fussy cut flowers on the side on some vintage music paper. This is kind of a large policy envelope with a card for trembling inside. I said I wasn't going to do this, didn't I? Here I am doing it. Another page that you can put your own ephemera on if you wish. A side pocket with a pretty pullout vintage image that opens up into a book, a booklet, and then this has how many pockets? It has a uh, band, slide band, and in there is, let's see, this is a fold out, I believe, yeah, fold out for journaling, it slips right in there. And then behind it is some more vintage advertising. And in this pocket, if I can get it, vintage advertising. And then in here, the last pocket is a, another big policy envelope with a tag inside. So that's a pretty loaded page there with the, all the pockets. Let's see, this page has a fold out like that. This side has another belly band with several pieces of journaling paper. This one, it folds out to the 
pretty big. It's really pretty. And that is just one-sided. Well, I think it opens up. Nope. So you could back that to journal on it. Or I might before I send it off. Just to make it easier for you. Okay. Oh, there is a pocket in here. Right here. I think that's really pretty. With a big journaling card. And that just slides right in here. Topped with some vintage lace. And this is a vintage... Um, Knitting label that I used for the belly band. Okay, here's another pocket. Pull out journaling spot. It's been coffee dyed and some of my fussy cutting. Another pocket with a rusted um, safety pin pulls out like that. This has a flip up just for journaling. You could put a photo, whatever you want up here, another image. Another flip out on that side with some stamping on some vintage music paper. A pocket with fussy cutting and a journaling spot. This is a flip out with some vintage blue chip stamps and area for journaling pocket vellum pocket with some journaling spots and a butterfly um, embroidery spot there and it flips out this way as well for journaling this is just a journaling spot another painted page a painted page on some vintage paper with a pretty floral pocket or journaling area there. It goes in there. And that's some real old uh, vintage paper there. Text paper. A belly band with several, several different um, journaling spots. And this is a fun little pocket made out of a sack. Tucks in that flower. And then it folds out. Envelope here with journaling spots tucked in here. You just kind of have to keep looking on these. I don't know if I put anything in there or not. No. So, and it is also held tight with um, Velcro. This one is a fold out. Some pretty old paper and an old image and some fussy cutting in the area for journaling. This is a pretty page with some fussy cutting. You can see my inking. If the papers haven't been coffee dyed, I usually ink around the um, pages. Some vintage book page with a pair of really pretty, I think those are cardinals, I don't know for sure. This is a clipped-in envelope with a pull-out card to journal on and fussy cutting on there. Room behind it for journaling. Let's see, this is a flip-out like that with some vintage um, Botany paper, botany, botanical. I don't know why I said botany. These little flowers I painted. And you, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little bit of sparkle in the paint. Part of that vintage paper. This is a booklet with several pages in it. And there is a pocket here, yeah, with a pull out tag. Excuse me. Some vintage illustrations. And let's see, a 
tab, a pull out tab, and a pull out journaling spot. And a little side pocket there. And that slips underneath that leaf. There's another fun vintage page and some journaling spots there. A little tiny library pocket with a pull out long flip tag. I think I'm going that way. And this opens up to a trifold with a pocket. A pocket with a pull out. Lots of journaling space there. Just remember to open things up and pull things out because there's a lot of hidden secrets in here. Let's see. This is, yeah, it's a pocket. There's a tab up on top that kind of kind of tells you it's a pocket if it's got a tab or a um, like half a circle punch there. Some really old vintage paper with some fussy cutting opens up with the pot with the pocket and a pull-out tag. Some old vintage paper here. This side has some stamping and then room on the back for journaling. On top of some coffee dyed paper there. This is part of a snippet roll. Here's a little tablet, some vintage map paper, let's see, and then another cute little tablet, notepad, whatever you want to call it, with some vintage images and some fussy cut images, places to journal, it's a whole page to journal in there. This is a side pull-out with the journaling spot there. Fussy cut and a doily and a pull-out tag. That's pretty. Um, let's see. That's just a page for journaling. Oh, there is a side pocket. Okay, it's slipping right there with a journaling spot, a double fold journaling spot, and it just slips right in there. There's a little tab on top. A Rick Rack bow with a vintage button. And then a little tiny pocket here. Let's see if I can get it open. There. Like that. Pretty vintage paper here. Paper with some vintage lace, which I kind of dyed, and then some pull out journaling pieces here. There's three of them, and a really pretty fussy cut bird here on the back page with some pull out journaling spots there. And it's lined, you can see, with this uh, white muslin that I just kind of frayed. And these are the metal photo corners, the back side of them. So let's see if I can, nope, got to get it back right. That is it for this one. It's called Autumn Abundance. It's in my Etsy shop. I'll put a link to it below and um, go check it out. It's in there along with a couple of other journals. And um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.